welcome to Sonoma for the Toyota Safe Mart 350 as I qualified 12th. Uh, I qualified for the second round and I decided let's not do the second round because Sonoma's on my best track so I figure I can want to race from 12th and see what happens. So here we go. Here is Sonoma, the winding road course. There's GoPro. I want to, be, I want to get a GoPro. But there's the corner. That's the hardest corner to do. There is the S is right there. There's the bump. Um, Sonoma Raceway. Think outside the oval. So let's see who qualified first at Sonoma. Uh, there's some more cars first though. Looks like Jeff Gordon qualified first. Jeff Gordon's first. Driving in hunger. Jimmy Dutt's second. Lowe's. Uh, Greg Biffle started with Scotch Tape. And... Um, Kurt Busch is fourth with Haas. And it looks like fifth is Marcus Ambrose with Stanley Tools. So here I am starting 12th with Target. Sometimes I say the sponsor, sometimes I don't. So this time I did. Okay. I probably could have qualified here first if I tried. I'm just going to chase down the leader. Who has the most wins here? Jeff Gordon. Uh, no, don't spin me, don't spin me, don't spin me, Danica. Gosh. Okay. Um, so, what happens... Is this... Is a very tight track to get around. Not that big. And there's more than one turn to... It's, it's just a tricky track. Okay, that hill is the toughest part. Especially on a start like this. No, so Jeff Gordon has the most wins here. For real. Um, like, in real life, Jeff Gordon has the most here. Uh, and he has actually every single stat at this track you can have. Except for best average start position. Which, for real, is held by Kyle Larson. Because he qualified third in his only race ever at Sonoma in the Sprint Cup Series. So I guess that sort of is cool. If you all into stats and stuff. Uh, my average finish here in the game is first. Of my five races at Sonoma, four have been a first place finishes. So I'm assuming the other one probably was like second. Uh, but there you go, sitting a blistering time. Ooh, that's the end of the sand. That's going to be a penalty. 0 0.9 second penalty. Not what I wanted here at Sonoma at all. Uh, so the time penalties are not in real life either. I guess it makes it a bit more interesting. Um, I'm hoping that if there's a caution, that I can cause the wreck. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to cause a caution. That's why I fell back. There you go. Get Jeff Gordon out of here. Kurt Busch, you, you taking? I gave you a nice opportunity just to, like, get up here, try to run a lap, see what happens, see if you like me pushing you into the corner. Here at Sonoma. I know you're not supposed to really wreck people, but it's a bit better that way. I'm the caution, aren't I? No, yes, thank you, there's a caution. Please be for him, not for me. It's me. Brilliant. I did hit that pretty hard, though. I get it. Hopefully we get a bunch of takers. I'm not taking. Oh yeah, I'm up to 24. 24th place in the field. Speaking of 24, let's find out who has the lead. I think it's Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon or Jimmy Johnson, so Jeff Gordon owns Jimmy Johnson's car. So, 24. Bush, Gordon has the lead. Oh, Bush didn't go to the back for that wreck? Unless it's Kyle Bush. Yo, what the hell is that? 
Okay, here you go, up the hill. There's Johnson. Where the hell did he come from? I'm hoping that there's a caution in this corner. Come on, somebody wreck, somebody wreck, somebody wreck. Somebody wreck. That'd be nice. That'd be nice, that'd be nice, that would be nice, that would be nice. Ambrose, 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 Ambrose wrecked. But I also went around, so I'm probably going to be the night of the caution car. So I worked all the way up to the front. And then that happened. Oh my gosh. Into the side of Ambrose. But I go for a spin. My caution car, though. That's my main question here. Since I did spin, yes I am. Find out who pits, though. Please put me somewhere good. 24. I'm not sure if I'm going to win this time. That'd be bad if I didn't win here at Sonoma. There goes Boyer around. That's helpful. No, but Castle. Castle got jammed in the outside line. He bounced off the wall into traffic. That's the issue. He bounced off the wall into traffic. Never want to do that. Oncoming cars just smash you. So I'm up seven positions. Into seven. I still can win this thing. Not ever to bend to the back twice, but I am determined to win Sonoma. Like, honestly. I don't care about winning any other track besides Sonoma. Honestly. Sonoma, Watkins Glen, New Hampshire. Those are like the tracks that I expect myself to win. Johnson's back up to the front after pitting. Getting slammed back there earlier. Here's Keselowski, though. Can I make the move on the Blue Deuce? Which is a white car now. Which is weird that there's blue deuce. It should say white deuce, but nobody calls it that. So I'm pulling out a Almost three second lead over Brad Kozlowski now that I got to the front. See, I am determined to win Sonoma. That's my thing. If you're determined enough to win a race, you can definitely win on track. You know you can win. Not like I'm not going to go to like Kentucky. Is that next race and say, oh yes, I'm going to win this and drive from the back to the front three times. Twice, and then all that fancy stuff driving through the traffic. No, 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 not going to happen. But a track like Sonoma, yes, I'm going to do that. Same with Watkins Glen. I think what I'm going to do at Watkins Glen is the same as how I qualified here. Go to the front. Qualify. Um in the top 12 and then quit well it says retire so I'm retire there puts me in the field at 12th place that'd be helpful hit that bump hit that bump go through here hit that bump nicely nicely hit that bump Drive through here. This is a good, good run. So go slow, brake, brake, hard under braking. Qualifying really did get a bit bad here in the last run for me in that same spot. I crashed and went to the whole thing, made a mess of myself. There you go. Into the final corner, returning to victory lane. There you go, adding another one to my list, Sonoma.
check, and that puts me just a bit further in first over everybody else. So let's celebrate. There you go. Welcome to Sonoma. My track. Not really. My track is Welcome's Glen. And my other track is New Hampshire. Sonoma's like my third track. Welcome to my third track. Martinsville used to be my track too, but now not so much. Now it's really these road courses that I get in that mile track of New Hampshire, which is my home track. But for Kyle Larson, Sonoma's the home track. So to win here, Kyle Larson's home track is big too. But let's head around the track now to do a Polish victory lap. Alan Kowicki started this. That's what he did. Another driver so that would win would do it in honor of him. Mark Martin, who is his best friend. And uh, Jeff Burton also would do it in honor of him. Uh, Jeff Burton said he didn't know him, but he met him. Mark Wharton was friends with him though. Alan Kowicki um, died in a helicopter crash or playing some of that. But he was the champion one year of the Winston Cup at the time, which is now the Spring Cup. And when he would win, he did the victory lap, the Polish victory lap, which doesn't actually work at Sonoma. Because the Polish victory lap, when you go around the track, is supposed to be one Polish, so they say they do backwards things. But the other thing is that it's supposed to be that you're facing towards the crowd. Where here, when you race, you face towards the crowd. It'll be the same doing a Polish victory lap at Watkins Glen. So that you gotta think outside the oval with these tracks. Oh my gosh, big chunks of my car just fell off there, but I don't care. I just won Sonoma. And that's how you do a pull a victory lap of a road course. Do a burn out there. Burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out. There you go. Okay, green. Not green, but, you know, go, 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 go. Tires aren't doing any smoke show, what? Can I do Kyle Larson's signature celebration? You should be allowed to do what the drivers actually do for the signature celebration. So like if you win as Brad Kozlowski, you should have an American flag at your window. If you win as Carlo, you should be able to do a backflip. Win as Kyle Busch, you should have your driver bow after they win. Or, if you win as Kyle Larson, you should have your stream out the window doing burnouts. Which would be even more fun. I think that would be the best. Uh, but he's not really allowed to do that anymore. Or Tony Stewart climbed the fence. I mean, even though Tony Stewart didn't do it anymore. Um, that would still be cool. Um, yeah, you should be able to do that kind of stuff. But here you go, 14 minutes in. Celebrating probably what I think is one of my biggest wins here of all, is Sonoma. Even though I sort of felt like I could win Sonoma a bit better, 
on some of the other tracks that I did win at. Like, who would have thought going into this that I would have had two wins in the first two weeks? I definitely would not have thought of that. I would not have thought that I had. I was thinking Phoenix because I'm pretty good at Phoenix. Those flat tracks I can handle pretty well. But who would have thought that I would have had one the Daytona 500, I mean, honestly, like, who thinks that? You would've thought, haha, he's gonna win the Daytona 500, you're funny. But honestly, I did not even think I was going to. So, as we leave my celebration here at Sonoma, let's celebrate down this hill. Yes, yeah, slide down the hill backwards. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, I did my big spin before the top of before the thing's even done, though. Oh, look at that rear tire. Look at both of them. They're gone, yo. It's pretty common that you're gonna do a burnout and blow your tires out. So if you put damage on full, and then you win a race, that'd be fun. I didn't. I never did that before. I never won a race with full damage in this mode. I'll have to try it at uh, some track. Track I know I'm not gonna hit the wall hard. So you can actually blow your tires at the track. So thanks for watching.